All right, so in this entire section, we're going to be covering one thing, and that's gonna be brushes. Now, it's something that I probably get questions asked to me about the most, more than anything else, which is surprising because brushes don't really make you a better artist, right? They can help you improve or get some techniques that you might not otherwise be able to do, but they're not going to improve your underlying skills. If you're not a good artist without the brush, you're not gonna be a good artist with it. So in this section, we are gonna go over what brushes to use, how to get certain effects, how to make your own brushes, but I wanna make sure that something is really clear in your minds. And that is that you have to really practice the fundamentals before a brush is going to do anything to help improve your art. So if you're not very good with lighting or perspective or your underdrawing or things like that, having a really cool texture brush or something that looks really painterly isn't going to help improve the quality of your art. It's still gonna look tacky and amateurish. The first place you need to start in order to become a better artist is going to be with your actual art fundamental skills, right? Lighting, shading, things like that, okay? So we're gonna go over brushes, but remember, don't get caught up on this, right? Really, you can use whatever brush you're most comfortable with, right? There's no right or wrong brush for each scenario. There's only what works for you. While we talk about these things, just keep that in mind. The real focus to any painting is going to be on the fundamentals. The brushes are just kind of like the cherry on top. So if you find yourself scouring the internet trying to find the perfect brush to help you get the job done and thinking that will be the saving grace to making your painting look amazing, well, then maybe you should go back and work on your painting skills a little bit more. Because even with just your standard typical round brush, if you're a talented artist and a skilled digital painter, you should be able to make an amazing painting regardless. And brushes should just come in as an afterthought a lot of times to help spruce things up or give more texture, make things more interesting. I really want you to remember that. It's not about the brush. It's about the fundamentals behind it. So enough of me blabbering about that. Let's go ahead and jump in and we can start talking about how to use brushes, which ones to use, and how to make our own. I'll see you in the next lecture.